All right, so what we have here is we're going to write the equation of a plane that contains three points, and they are not collinear points, so they are three separate points. And the thing to remember is that if you want to write the equation of a plane, so I'm just going to do a, you know, my attempt at a plane. So imagine this thing being extended indefinitely, but this is just to show direction. If you have three points that are in the plane, we do know that the normal vector is what determines the equation of the plane. So I'm just going to draw a normal vector out of one of the points. And if I'm looking for some information to get me that normal vector, remember that that vector is perpendicular to both this vector and this vector. So that kind of gives us a framework to follow when we want to have when we have three three points, we want to find the equation of the plane. So I'm going to pick, I'm just going to label them P, Q, and R. And I'm going to call one of them, I'm going to make it like an anchor point, okay? So I'm going to find vector P, Q, and I'm going to find vector P, R. And then I know that the normal vector is the cross product between those, because the cross product is what is perpendicular to two other vectors. So... Here we go with that. So PQ is the vector. Well, let's see. We're going from 0 to 1, so that's 1. We're staying at 1 on the Y component, so that's 0. And we're going from 2 to 1, so that's negative 1. And PR, we're going from 0 to 3, so that's 3. We're going from 1 to 0, so that's negative 1. And we're going from 2 to 4, so that's 2. So now the normal vector is the cross product between the two vectors. So I have I, J, K. And I have 1, 0, negative 1. And I have 3, negative 1, 2. And let's just see what happens here. So we're going to have an I, a J, and a K. So the I component is, remember how we do this, we basically just, I'll see if I can highlight with a different color here. We basically cross out the row and column that the I is in. And then we take the other determinant. So that would be, let's see, 0 times 2 is 0, minus 1. So that's negative 1. And then we do the same thing for the other. So crossing out the row and column that J is in, we take 1 times 2, which is 2, minus negative 1 times 3. So that's 5. But then we make that negative. So that's minus 5J. And for the K component, we take 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, minus 0. So that's minus 1. So we basically have the vector negative i minus 5j minus k. So all negatives. So at this point, what we know is, we know the equation of the plane is found by taking negative 1 times x minus something minus 5 times y minus something minus 1 times z minus something, and that's equal to 0. So since the plane passes through all three of these points, it doesn't matter which point I pick. So I'm going to pick the easiest point, probably the 1, 1, 1, maybe. And maybe your version of easier is different than mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply this out. So I'm going to have negative x plus 1 minus 5y plus 5 minus z plus 1 equals 0. And what that looks like to me is I'm going to end up with negative x minus 5y minus z and 1 plus 5 plus 1 is 7, so that's negative 7 on the right. And you know, all the terms are negative, so I'm just going to go ahead and write this as this equation here. And that is the equation of our plane that passes through the three points. If you want to check your answer, you can substitute all three of the points, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, and 3, 0, 4. And it does appear to work. I see that 1, 1, 1 works. I see that 3, 0, 4 works. And I also see that... Let's see, 0, 1, 2, so that would be 0, 5, 2. Yes, that does work. So there's the equation of our plane passing through three points.